Last month, some eyebrows were raised when Prince Rupert City Council expressed support for the development of a 24-hour public restroom with a $200,000 price tag, plus annual maintenance costs. However, the head of a group that wants to see its creation says it will provide a crucial service to the city. Derry Bott is the coordinator of the Prince Rupert Aboriginal Community Services Society's Reaching Home program. He says a facility like this is needed, especially at a time when many public restrooms are closed due to COVID-19 concerns. Especially with COVID, there has been no place for, for homeless people, well, anybody actually, but mostly for homeless people to, to be able to use a washroom or wash their hands or, or whatever the case may be. Likewise, he says it could address the issue of human waste on the city streets. I know there's a lot of businesses in town that are complaining about people uh, using their back doorways and bushes beside their building and etc. etc. as a washroom. So. The Society's Reaching Home program is in charge of distributing grant money given to them by the federal government to address Indigenous homelessness. The City of Prince Rupert recently put in a proposal to the Society to access grant funds to build the restroom, which the Society wants to see built. Rosa Miller, Corporate Administrator for the City of Prince Rupert, says human defecation is something the City often receives complaints about. It's on a pretty regular basis, more so than you would, than you would uh, believe. Back in 2017, the Town of Smithers made headlines when they installed their own Portland Loo, a brand of public toilet designed to negate the issues that public toilets usually have. Smithers Mayor Gladys Attrill says the facility, which also cost $200,000, has been a success, especially during the pandemic. From what I've heard, you know, people have been referred from all sorts of places within the community to the Portland Loo if a public washroom is needed. So in my view, it's been a good success. It's, um, you know, it's a, a good product. It's open all the time. It's very difficult to vandalize. It's viewed as very safe. Attrell says that although the facility cost a lot up front, it's been a good investment in the long term. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.